Okay, summer will be over before we know it, and as it winds down here, a lot of people are asking questions about what's going on with their plants and their flowers right and now. We know that we can't answer these questions, so that's why we have garden expert mm -hmm. Derek Thomas to help us out, and Wisdom is out with him, maybe uh, sing a background for him this morning. Good we're, morning. Not, we're not going to do any more singing. That's done. <laughs> Derek's here. We're going to talk all about the garden. Derek, good to see you as always. Good to see you. We, we got some questions from some people because they want to know what's going on in their yards and in their gardens. That's that's right, yeah. and you know, the one thing is, uh, one, of, one of the questions is actually from Sarah, yeah. our, our very own Sarah, Sarah Simmons. Simmons. But um, the other ones came through social media. Right. So follow me at Thomas Garden yep. Guy or on Facebook Thomas Landscape. Gotcha. If you got questions, so if you've got send the them questions, send them through. And you can also send them through. Some of them, sometimes viewers will send them through yeah. the station. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, so Sarah's question. Sarah's question. Since she's in the building right now, <laughs> all right. Since she's sitting right there, she's going to jump to the front of the line. What is my Otto Laurel. What is this on my Otto Laurel? Right. And what can be done? Right. And we have a picture of it. And uh -huh. there's a picture right there. And that is actually a scale. Okay. And the thing about scale, a lot of scales are very species specific, which means certain scales will attack certain types of plants. And what you want to um, think about right here, you see that the damage that has happened with the scale has also led to leaf dieback. Mm -hmm. So what we told uh, Sarah was that we want to use products like any of the organics that are available. Okay. This is an organic three-in-one spray mm -hmm. that you can use. Also, you can use a neem oil, okay. which is also an organic. And the good thing about using either one of these products is that you can use it to treat insects and fungal infections that you may have in your veggies. The mm -hmm. other thing to do would be to do an oil. This was a multi-purpose oil. This is a fungicide okay. and a um, and will help the bugs. And you also have an insecticidal soap. Gotcha. So any of these things are organic ways to treat the problem. Another thing that's cropping up this time of year, mm -hmm. you see the white that has covered this yep. leaf? Uh -huh. That's actually called powdery mildew. Okay. And on powdery mildew, the one thing to keep in mind is once the leaves have started to get discolored like this, mm -hmm. you're not going to get that leaf back. Okay, so but it's you done. you can prevent the spread of it okay. since it's a fungus gotcha. if you take care of it. Gotcha. Okay. And then here's another scale. When I said it was species specific, the white that you see here is yet another type of scale. Mm -hmm. And the way that it shows itself in this holly is actually through the blackening of the leaves. Got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. We got another question. Joan Critchlow. We're going to put that on the screen right now. My 20 plus year old jade plant needs help. Can it be pruned to return to its young self? Right, and I think that we also have a picture of that. And see, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's an enormous jade plant. Right. Uh -huh. It's 20 plus years old. It's starting to sag and hang over the pot. There's um, a mobility problem that the plant has. She can't move it around the way that she used to be able to. And basically, I think there's a little bit of fear with pruning it back. Jade plants are a succulent. And the nice thing about that is that what you can do is, and if, you, if we look at the little baby one that I have as an example mm -hmm. here, the nice thing about this is this is a baby and 20 plus years ago right. uh, Miss Critchlow's jade may have been about this size. Gotcha. What you want to do is anytime that this plant gets out of shape mm -hmm. you can you can very simply remove a part of it okay. by going in there like that. Now this part if you let it dry that will actually root mm -hmm. and so you can control the growth so you don't have to have all of that overhang that gotcha. you're seeing on Ms. Critchlow's. It just looks nicer and neat. It looks nicer and neater okay. and you can absolutely clean it up. Right. The other thing is to remember it's a succulent so it likes bad soil. It doesn't like okay. really, really good, rich soil. Okay. It'll grow in sand and a very low nutrient-filled soil. Gotcha. Okay. Derek, give them your information again in case they want to tweet you and we, do all we that did, other stuff. Uh, we did have one other question. One other question? We're almost out of time, We're so we better out get of time. to it. Really, we really, really quickly, the chrysanthemums. Right. Yeah. Um, is it a good time to plant mums now? Okay. When you see the mums in the garden center now, what you want to do is these mums will, once they bloom, if you cut these blooms off, mm -hmm. They will rebloom and look like this again. Oh, okay. So, just cut so them off. Just cut off the spent blooms, and this time of year, you will get a second blooming from the mums if you buy them early. If you buy them early, that's yeah. the key. At Thomas Garden Guy, or follow me on Facebook, Thomas Landscapes and Wisdom. Thanks. Thank you. Always good to see you. I had an accident with my hand, so I'm going to shake with yeah, this hand. That's okay. It's all <laughs> I got, good. I got an issue over here with my hand. Let me go back to you so I can handle handle this business. Derek, you've done this a time or two before. Yes. <laughs> back to you in the studio. Get out of there. Yeah. Right, still ahead to Fox Speak. Good news <laughs> for movie fans here. George Mason University. We just share too much on this show sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. Kevin's back with the details. It's something that's mood. very near and dear to his heart, and he'll share that coming up. It's 940. <laughs> Baby, come back.